Hi guys, it's Ben here. Liverpool have just rounded off their league campaign with a 4-0 win, a really routine, lovely, lovely day at Anfield. 4-0 win over Brighton and Hove Albion and yeah, it was just for minute one really, there was never ever in doubt. Mo Salah gets his 32nd league goal of the season. Best signing of the season obviously, one of the best signings Liverpool have ever made um, in, in the Premier League era at least, I mean, f for that price tag. Uh, for me to be sat here now with with 32 league goals, 44 in all competitions, and a Champions League final still to come, where he can like cement himself uh, as maybe the Ballon d'Or winner, it's just incredible. We should be really, really grateful for that. When we could have signed someone else instead of him, you know, we we were targeting Julian Brandt, um, who, who might have been you know equally as good. We don't, we don't know, but um, the fact that we ended up with Mo Salah and the fact that he's just done all this, it's just marvellous. Uh, Dayan Lovren scores, nice moment for him. Um, he's had an okay season to be fair. Dominic Solanke, I, I think I, I wore a beaming smile for about 10 minutes after he scored. It's just a great moment for him. He's been criticised by me, um, by lots of people. Um, but he looked so much better today when he had those other front three players with him. When he had Firmino up alongside him up front in particular, um, he could play these little flicks and nice little intricate play. Um, he played really, really well today, Solanke. He looks isolated at times when he's on his own up front and we, we really do um, see that when he replaces Firmino or Mane or, or Salah in the side, he really does look a bit lost in there, but with those front three around him, he was magnificent to be honest and um, really promising for him and hopefully that's, you know, hopefully that goal is, is the trigger for, for a great season next year, we don't know how much he's going to play, we don't know if we're going to sign another attacker which might push him down the pecking order a bit, but just really pleased for him, even if he doesn't feature as much as he'd like to next season, that he's got that goal to remember on a lovely, lovely day at Anfield and Robertson as well gets his first Liverpool goal um, another great display from him. Uh, let's do some player ratings um, for the day. I mean, I'll, I'll do the season another time. Uh, obviously, we've got a big Champions League game to worry about, so I'm going to keep this short because we have got bigger fish to fry and I want to go back and watch the celebrations. So, player ratings, Karius was okay. I mean, 7 out of 10. Um, didn't have much to do. Trent, I thought was excellent, 8 out of 10. Attacked really well, some great crosses. Van Dijk and Lovren, 8 apiece. Thought they were superb. Um, Lovren gets his goal, which is great. Robertson. Oh, let's give him a nine. He's just a wonderful, wonderful player, isn't he? He's just, a, uh, he's just great. He just gets forward so well. Um, so confident on the ball. He's great in the tackle. He, he times everything. He, he reads the game so well. Just a wonderful player. Henderson, I thought, was terrific today. Um, I've got no qualms giving him a nine, actually. I thought his passing was unbelievable. Um, I thought he ran the game, to be honest. Wijnaldum, eight out of ten. I thought he was superb, too. Um, he used his strength so well, just in, in the middle of that part. Just won so many balls, won possession so many times. Uh, and just made the right passes, don't even give the ball away once. So superb from him. Then you get to the front four. Um, Sadio Mane uh, wastes a chance early on when it was 0-0, uh, which is frustrating, but yeah, he, he's you know he's still like he's so lively. Um, I, I think he deserves an eight out of ten. It's just been a it's been a great season for him to be honest, and I thought he was really, really excellent today. Uh, Bobby Firmino uh, should score to be honest. But his work rate's there. It's just typical for me now. It's you know eight out of ten again. Um, Solanke, I'm, I'll, I'll give him a nine. He gets his goal. His link-up plays great. He gets an assist as well. I thought he was. I think that's probably his best game in Liverpool shirt. So fair play to Dom. Nine out of ten. And Mo Salah gets man of the match for me. I'm going to give him a perfect ten. Why not? Um, scores is by far the best player on the pitch. Is by far the best player in the league. Um, and I can't wait to see him next season. It's as simple as that. Um, that's it really, that's all for today. Um, so happy we, we uh, secured it with such ease. I was a bit nervous going in admittedly, uh, but a 4-0 win, Chelsea lost 3-0 as well. We nearly, nearly, nearly snatched third uh, off Spurs who were 3-1 down to Leicester at one point, but they win 5-4, so you know it is what it is. We, we got fourth, we're one point worse off than last season, but as we all know, we've got Kiev on the horizon. And what is it with referees not giving us penalties? I mean, I mean, there was two absolute stone walls in there. Possibly, possibly a third with the high foot. But the handball and the foul on Salah, unbelievable from Kevin Friend. He's always been a tit, hasn't he? Um, but it is what it is. And we are in the Champions League next season. We're in the Champions League final in two weeks' time. I'm so excited to be a Liverpool fan. It's been a great, great season. Uh, you know, Man City got 100 points. They're going to take a lot of catching up. We're 25 points behind them. That's not good enough, you know. It really, we, we want to be, we want to be uh, in the hunt for these Premier League titles. Let's hope. I know we get stick for it, but let's hope that next year is, in fact, our year. And I'm going to get stick for that in the comments. Uh, but leave your comments with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game. Um, what a what a day! What a day! We're, we're, we're in the Champions League again. Uh, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say on all of those platforms. And I will see you next time.